Hello, Gusto's fans. This is exclusive for you. Anyways, this is again for the beginners, but this one actually is for those who actually read. So, you're new to Goosebumps. Hello. <laughs> of course, most likely you saw the movie, and the movie actually got you hyped to actually enjoy the series. Awesome. If it's by some other, different other way, okay. As for those who actually want to get interested in Goosebumps and even watch the movie, that's a good introduction. Watch the movie, then if you can, buy the movie novel. You could definitely get it from me. <laughs> it's like, yes, please get it from me. I have six copies. Please, please help me. Anyways, it's always good to have the movie novel so you can see the difference between the movie and what they were thinking about originally before the final draft. Then after that, I mean, yeah, you can watch the second movie if you wish. You could. And there's a movie novel there, which I haven't seen a movie novel in thrift stores. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I might have to just buy it from Target. <laughs> Anyways, then after that, you're now beginning and you wonder what to do next. You can play the video games if you wish, but you that's not really needed. So for me personally, I would say to you is to go to a bookstore, sadly, the pseudo booth stores like Walmart and Target, they don't have it. They don't have anything. They have some stuff, but not really. What you really want to go to is most likely something called Books a Million. If you have that, awesome. If you don't have that, go to a nearest bookstore. Hopefully, with your luck, the bookstore will have a freaking nice little row full of books. So choose whichever you wish. We'll start from there because. The enjoyment, the awesomeness of being able to go to the store and buy a book can never be replaced with buying it online, especially with these porch pirates out here. Seriously, man, porch pirates suck. <laughs> so my recommendations. OK, well, this is a little bit of an interesting thing. So they released half of the original series plus three two thousands and one to give yourself goosebumps. I will say, if you really have to go for it, there's many of these, like, there's no really options where you're like, you're going to screw yourself over. Night Living Dummy is a good idea. Now, the good question is like, oh, but I want to read all of them. And it's like, do you have to go in sequence or is there, a, it's like, yes, there's actually an order. The only weird part is that the order might actually is being shuffled even right now. But it's a good idea to read the first three. Bride or Nightmare, which sadly Bride is released, Nightmare isn't. Those are forever battling back and forth. Being Nightmare might have been first, then Bride of a Living Dummy. But Bride of a Living Dummy might have happened in... I, it's hard to figure it out. The two from Horrorland is cool. And of course, you have to throw in the one from um, Most Wanted as well. And then you have Slappy World. So, yeah, just make sure you understand that there is a way to read those and you have to be careful because you might actually trip yourself up. You go with the first one and then you go to the, like the last one that's been released, which is my friend Slappy at this point. Not good. <laughs> Not good because you're going to be confused. <laughs> you're going to be very confused, even though. That would be a cool thing, but nah, not a good idea. Not a good idea. You need to do for the line. As for others, um, Monster Blood is cool. Great. Always a good choice. There are sequels, but they're censoring it right now. So if you do want to read all of Evan's adventures, you're going to have to go eBay style or something like that. Because right now it's just order of Evan the dude <laughs> yeah i'm gonna call him the dude and these two chicks <laughs> which is gonna come out while i'm recording this a month later you know m next month stay out of basement is a good one it's like stay out of basement is a good one i wouldn't tackle welcome to dead house unless you really truly actually love horror then welcome to Dead house would be the best one to go for it's like that's the first step forward and that was him testing the waters at first getting his footing so if you want to actually know this very first one and see how it went from being truly gruesome to it has some jokes in it. It's comedic and it's scary. 
oh yeah, Haunted Mask is always good, and thank goodness they released Haunted Mask too. So basically, you can watch, you can read the whole entire Haunted Mask thing. So that's good. You can watch, read all of them, which is pretty good. But brace yourself on Haunted Mask Most Wanted, of course. You know, brace yourself on that. Let's see anything else. Well, Say Cheese and Died has been censored a little bit, so that's kind of sad. But the sequel is not really that good, say some people. Night in Terror Tower is a great one, but they do have a sequel, so you might have to look elsewhere because the well, sequel is pretty interesting. You might want to get it. It's a Give Yourself Goosebumps book. But if I really actually have to recommend in, recommend something, I would say go with the following of maybe four books. It's like, yeah, it's like maybe so just three books. One of the original ones, which you wouldn't really know. So Night of the Dummy could be one. Haunted Mask could be another one. Let's get a bit of could be another one. Um, whichever one they have. Haunted Mask, of course, is something good. Welcome to Dead House. And then you get a Goosebumps 2001, which is, excuse me, either Bright and Living Dummy, The Haunted Car, or Graveyard Ghouls. The last one, of course, is Getting Fifi. Getting the one that is Don't Feed the Vampires. Three books, three flavors. See which one you like. The only messed up part is that if you enjoyed Bright Living Dummy and or um, Don't Feed a Vampire, that's going to where you're going to get to a messed up part of where Scholastic India has that. And you're most likely going to have to buy it on the internet. Get the India version? Yes, you could. But I would say go with the original one if you can. Just saying. Go with the original one if you can. So let's say that now you're at the point where you bought every single book you could originally. It's like, let's say you bought, were able to buy all the original books that they released, plus the Goose on 2000, plus Don't Feed a Vampire. You got all of Horror Land, which definitely is a good one to get. Definitely. You got all the Hall of Hoarders. That's awesome. And you got all of Slappy World. And now you're saying, well, I did all this. What is next? Well, the retro tins might actually be something interesting. So, yeah, instead of having a uniform thing, which I already talked about that in another video, where it's like you're at this messed up standstill where you don't really have anything uniform. And even if you could get it uniform, they kind of mess it up a few times. So anyways, you might have a Mitch match. So the retro tins, if you see books that you say, oh, I don't have that in my collection, go get it. Yeah, just be careful. I mean, yes, you can have duplicates and it's cool to have duplicates. This is also part of collecting too. So yeah, enjoy the retro, retro tins. Go ahead, enjoy those. Even though it's like a bit of nostalgia, a bit of showing you how it was back in then. Even though no, they didn't they cut everything out. So you wouldn't even know how it was back then. And it's technically great shame, I guess. I don't know. So you're going to have a big fat hunt on your hands, of course. Definitely a big fat hunt on your hands. But if you're content with all the books that they have now and you don't really want to go, you're good. You're good. But of course, you know, if you really want to enjoy Goosebumps, you might actually want to read every single book ever made. So you eventually might have to go online and buy them. It's either that or hope that the thrift store gets it. And one thing you do need to know is that there are at least three editions in all, an original one. You had the original, then you had the reboot in 2003 that got rid of four to five books, five books. And then you have this third installment, the third version, which they got rid of half of the books. So, yeah. And then Goosebumps 2000 had two reprints, I think. Yeah, this one and now the 2015 Give yourself goosebumps. Only one of them got that. Everyone else has the original cover. And no need for um Horror Land or Slappy World is brand spanking new. It's Hall of Horrors. All those are recent, so they're not gonna have a reprint. They're not gonna have a different variant. So there you go. That's basically all that's really needed. Of course, the side note. Hopefully, at this point, you already knew about the Goosebumps books. I mean, Goosebumps TV show. And if so, then there you go. You might actually want to watch those. <laughs> yeah. Even though they're kind of outdated. 
but I'm pretty sure if you are kind of in that phase of where it's like you can't tell what's what and you believe it could actually came out this year, you're you're golden. You know, you're golden. Just watch one every day. <laughs> it's like watch one every day and I'm pretty sure that will take you to two months or something. You could stagger it and wait until the brand new ep brand new TV show comes out, which you could. You could. That would be a great idea. But other than that, yeah that's about it and for those who actually don't have netflix you can easily try to get all the dvds even though a few of them have not been released but you're able to get mostly all of them so go for it and especially wait for halloween time that's when you have them there and i think they actually cost five bucks now yeah so you can actually buy a bunch of them for five bucks and very very easily get all over five bucks or most of them <laughs> I can't tell for sure. But yeah, there's some that actually haven't been released in DVD form. And sadly, Haunted Mask, I think, wasn't released in DVD, but it is on VHS. And most likely you're going to ask, what's VHS? And I'm like, oh, it's the father of <laughs> DVD. There you go. Uh. <laughs> and as for Werewolf Skin, that's one that's been screwed over as a release and been screwed over as a book release, too, because they don't really want to release it anymore they don't want to do it because that's one of the gruesome ones it's like yes if you want gruesome in the old days i think you might actually want to check out werewolf skin and i live in your basement but that's gonna actually you got to go online for that but anyways that's like a good little thing of where to get started so hope you guys enjoyed that and they do have comic books. <laughs> yes, I forgot to mention that in the other one. They do have comic books. So you if you enjoy comics, they have comic books. <laughs> Most likely gonna find that online too. Except for the recent ones, which the recent ones I wouldn't say go for. I would say go for ones that were like back then. <laughs> like 2013, I suppose. You know, ones that has three comics in one, not one that's like, here's one issue. Here's another issue. The IDW ones are maybe ones that are too sketchy. Try to go for graphics. Yeah, the IDW, I say don't really go into that one. Don't really check that one out. That's not a great idea. I think that's everything. I think I covered everything. So... Enjoy yourself, and of course, hey, if you actually want to have even more interest, there are audio books on here, so you don't really have to actually strain yourself and try to actually find a book and try it in good condition and stuff like that. You do have audio books on YouTube as well. Just make sure you type in Goose, you know, Goosebumps audiobooks, or heck, I might even just make a nice little playlist of them all so you can actually select for yourself. Anyways, have a scary day. Have a scary night.